I loved it then, basically. Um, I came here last year as a spectator and also to meet the Cartwheel team, Martin Ford, and to get my series up and running International Carper. And uh, I, there was just such a buzz about the place when I turned up, see all the bivvies in the field as you arrive in Bivy City, um, all the anglers getting all their stuff ready, and then you've got the opening ceremony, and then all the anglers kind of go off to their swims. And that week flew by. I, was, I actually ended up taking pictures and stuff for, um, for the magazine. And uh, before I knew it, the week had finished. We had the winners, the closing ceremony. Um, I ended up doing a bit of volunteering for Ross, just helping to get competitors off the island. Um, I let off the fireworks for the actual signal of the finish. And I think it was at that moment I thought, I want to be here next year, actually. Generally, it's, it's, it's a fantastic event. You know, Ross works really hard to get the get it up and running um, there's a lot more when the anglers turn up I don't think I don't think they actually appreciate how much work goes into getting this thing off the ground you know I've been here since Tuesday along with another another team and we've been doing a lot of kind of background work that people don't kind of notice really um, it's a huge event we've got 26 countries competing this year 130 pairs 260 anglers 520 rods out in the water and hopefully there'll be lots of carp caught and um, I know I'll be back next year anyway, you know, for sure. So, What type of advice would you give to a young angler, angler like myself and Angus here? Um, firstly, enjoy your fishing. Try not to take it too seriously. Um, I think it's quite important actually not to get too obsessed with one species early on. Um, I actually still fish for other species when I do get a chance because I, um, I think it's... it's it's good for learning to play different fish. All fish fight differently, and um, I think you know you can get. I, I didn't start off carp fishing. I started off fishing for trout, and then I progressed onto coarse fish, and then I progressed onto carp. And um, you know, I, I think having having skills fishing for different species under your belt is really good. I think basically you just need to set yourself realistic targets rather than going out if you just start a carp fishing trying to aim to catch a, a fifty. You're better off going out trying to aim to catch a double to begin with and then a 20 and then a mid 20 and then a 30 you know if you're lucky enough to catch a, a 40 on your first trip you know you might be disappointed because you probably won't catch another one for maybe a year or two you know set yourself small goals and stick at it really um you know try and uh, try and be consistent and um keep things simple as well really yeah